I don't know how many pilots and loves it's been on this trip, but it's gotta be a new personal record for one trip. <laughs> Welcome to the second video of the epic comic book. Welcome, or welcome back. This is part two of the epic comic book. A recap. To start off, we left from DFW, Texas, headed northeast in search of comic books, photography, and inspiration while testing the Mark III Supra's reliability after a 1JZ swap. We passed through Texarkana, Little Rock, Memphis, Nashville, and now we're somewhere in the middle of Kentucky. We did get some good photos, we found a lot of comic books, and the Supra even gave me a good scare. As I continue onwards in hopes of making it to New York City, it's June 21st, the first day of summer, and the longest day of the year. As I was driving around sunset time, I found this lake and it had a beautiful view with the sunset. I was able to capture it on video, but I wanted to double back and find a place to park and grab some photos. In doing so, I found this little market that was kind of kitschy and cool. Stopped to grab some photos and I saw across the street something that would be one of the two themes for this video. Oh, I love this. Don't postpone. I love that. Don't postpone joy. And that rings true for this series because I left for this trip late Sunday instead of early Saturday to get a good head start. Because of that, I'm having to skip some places because it's taking a little bit longer than I had planned. Now the second theme for this video is changes. After leaving Nashville, I had hoped to get off the highway and get on some back roads to explore a little bit more. Some stops that I originally wanted to go to, such as Louisville, Cincinnati, and Pittsburgh, I was actually gonna bypass by taking the back roads and going directly towards New York City. In this video, I'm gonna change it once again because last night I was driving through some back roads and then it got dark. I was like, there's no really point in this because I'm not really enjoying the view. So I headed back towards some highways. I'm off of I-75 now. I am gonna plan to stop in Pittsburgh. And once I get to Pittsburgh and start heading east, there's a state park I wanna stop by called Rothrock. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hit the road. It's 9 a.m. At some point I crossed over to Eastern Time. In my internal clock, it's probably still 8 a.m. That's not a bad thing because on the way back, we'll gain an hour. In setting up this camera here, I was ducking under in the mirror. I hit the adjustment tab thing and it broke off. So now it's just flopping around. If I just let it go, it stays in a down position for like night driving. And if I wedge something in here, it'll stay up. Um, that's just another thing to add to the list of things to get for the car. Last night, um, I was planning to stop at a hotel, but I pretty much just kept feeling like driving. Once you pass a certain point, 12 or one in the morning, it almost doesn't make sense because you're paying for not very many hours. That's why I spent last night at a pilot again. <laughs> um, but three nights sleeping in the car, I wouldn't recommend it. change my mind again. I think I might try to bypass Pittsburgh after all and go straight to the state park. And this will take me through just back roads from Cincinnati through that state park. Right now I'm at the Kentucky side of Cincinnati. 
It's gonna go east from here. Changes. Yeah, man, changes. Just flexing. <laughs> Not loose, but shit. <laughs> There's like freaking tons of hills over here, and all these parking lots are on huge curves. And a lot of it's my fault because I wanted to get the exhaust done. I was just impatient. I just brought it to an exhaust shop, and I. I I've always tried to avoid going to exhaust shops, but didn't have the tools or the skills to weld. So I just bought it there, they did the exhaust, and like the original hanger is like hanging low on one end. It just scrapes on these really steep things, so I need to get that fixed. That's another thing for the list. But I just checked it and it doesn't seem to be loose or anything broken or any holes or anything, so I think we're good for right now. But I'll just keep my ears to the ground so to speak and just listen for any issues on the rest of the drive. This is Future Chris here. This will be the shortest part of the three in the series. I did a lot of driving after Cincinnati without much drama or veering off. I admittedly was starting to feel slightly overwhelmed with the length of the drive and with not only the issues that came up but also the high RPM combo of the R154 with a 4.3, I felt like staying below 70 miles per hour, which made it even longer and I just wanted to get there. Since I was skipping Pittsburgh, that meant staying a bit more south for now, meaning bypassing Columbus. As I crossed into West Virginia, I decided to stop for a snack and a visit to a random comic book shop. I'm not eating as healthy as I want to be. Mexican pizza is fire <laughs> with the nacho dip. One thing I hoped to overcome, but still can't, is vlogging in front of people. So with such a small shop, the camera stayed off and in my pocket. Stopped at this comic book store after getting to lunch at Taco Bell, 
It's a pretty cool place. The guy was pretty cool too. I could tell he's working really hard. He has like two jobs and he was working his other job at like some call center while he was working at the comic book store. So that, that was really pretty funny, but um, that's hustle right there. And he did mention that there's a comic book store pretty close by in Marietta. It's not too far, but to go there in that direction, stop and look and then get back in the direction I'm going would take well, probably about 45 to an hour out of my time. I'm just gonna skip that and go east from here. So right now it has me arriving in, at the state park area for about five hours and 45 minutes. I'm not taking interstate right now. I'm just on the local highway and I'll probably stay in a hotel around that area. But yeah, that's the update right now. decided after driving a bit from Parkersburg to go ahead and go, jump on the interstate so I hopped on to I-79 and I'm gonna cross over to I-68 and that's gonna take me towards uh, State College which is near that Roth Rock State Park. I'm just starting to feel tired and I didn't want to end up not making it there by tonight so I wanted to get there, get in, try to relax, edit some video and get to sleep early enough so I can leave early tomorrow morning. I never went to the park. It became less important as I started to think about how far it was from New York City. I wanted to be closer when I got up the next morning, and so I pushed on. I called another audible and decided not to stop off at State College near Roth Rock. I decided to just go as far as possible towards New York. I definitely need to stay somewhere tonight because I'll be. I want to make sure I'm refreshed and you know have a good quality sleep. I don't know how many changes that makes it for me already on this trip, but we're, we'll get there and, and we're making it. Though it rained much of the day, as I moved more and more northeast, the weather became cool and comfortable, and the scenery looked more old and interesting. I would make it to a town called Carlisle, Pennsylvania to finally spend the night in a bed. It was a great decision as it renewed my excitement for the trip as I would wake up less than 200 miles from my destination. See you for the final part of the Mark III Supra comic book road trip. <laughs>